I didn't understand how bad it was. That's the thing. If you feel like you've heard this before, you haven't. Because it's not just seeping out from the walls. Uh-oh, it's seeping in. Stupid cheap weather stripping. I thought like, oh yeah, maybe there's some bad stuff, but it's just going to seep out really slowly, like no big deal. Except it's not. It's not that simple. You can actually be pulling it in like a pump effect. You have no windows open. It's literally sucking it in through the walls. And it's just sucking in this horrible air through this fiberglass insulation, which has these other chemicals in it. You may think you've heard this information before. Just another vector from which we're being massively attacked, really. And it's, it's the air in our homes. It's so bad. It can be so bad. And it depends what kind of home you have. But this is going to be, this is, I'm going to pick my next house that I buy based on this issue. I'm going to want to know what insulation it has. I didn't know this was a huge issue. But some of the insulation that's out there is putting out horrible smog of chemicals. And you're breathing it. And, and I want to try and explain to people what you need. First thing you do need is you do need an air filter of some kind, just generally. If you're trying to be healthy, a lot of people are trying to be healthy. Me personally, I, I want to be healthy because I want to live past 60. I, I want Tons of people are living to be stupid 60, mid-60s, while the, the ruling class are living to be 90, 100. This is a huge power and advantage that they have, especially if you're like one of many people these days, and you, you're not even having kids until you're in your 30s, and so then they're, they're not even like an adult until you're about 50. So what do you get? Like You get 10 years to explain to this adult, like, hey, here's the stuff that I've learned in my life. Tons of people are, are in this place where they, they don't even have any time to pass anything on to their children. So the state just gets a, a, a brand new skull full of mush. Come in here with a skull full of mush. To just fill with whatever BS. It, it, and, and this is why we have the kind of people we have today. It's important. You, you don't even know anything till you're about 40 anyway. And then you're just learning, learning, learning. And you've got to pass all this on. So me personally, I try and be healthy. I try and eat well. I try and drink well. I did have air filters, and I mainly had air filters because I knew there was something like this, but I didn't know how bad it was. I didn't understand how bad it was. That's the thing. If you feel like you've heard this before, you haven't. You don't know how bad it is. It's really, really bad. And it's winter time right now, and it's winter time when it can really show up. And it depends. It totally depends what kind of house you have. And it's like you have to really think about this issue because it's not just seeping out from the walls. Uh-oh, it's seeping in. Stupid cheap weather stripping. I thought like, oh yeah, maybe there's some bad stuff, but it's just gonna seep out really slowly, like no big deal. Except it's not, it's not that simple. You can actually be pulling it in like a pump effect in your house, depending on how you're heating your house and how you have windows and opening set up in your house. It totally depends. Because the tendency most of us have is in the winter time, we don't want to spend too much on heating because that's expensive. So then it's like, yeah, close down all the windows. Vast majority of people, yeah, close all the windows. It's winter time. Absolutely. It's freezing outside. It's, it's 30, 20 outside. Close the windows. So you've closed the windows, but then you're heating. And what you've set up is a pump because the hot air is rising. And if you have just like one opening in the top of your house, which most of us do, like for example with us, it's like the fan in the bathroom, it's the bathroom fan upstairs that is then just a big hole. It's not blocked when it's off, it's, it's just a hole when it's off and there's just a nice hole. So you heat, the air rises, it goes out, it keeps heating and you're sucking in air the bomb. But you don't have any windows open at the bottom. So you've got a negative pressure effect and you're just pulling in air from your walls. And then this is even worse in the heat where the sun is still hot, see, in the winter time. The air is cold, but the sun is still hot. And so the sun hits all your walls, just like it hits the roof in the summertime and creates this superheated space. It's doing that to the walls. It's hot inside your walls, even in winter from that, especially in, in, that, in that hot of the day, that's loosening up the chemicals more. And it's not just formaldehyde. Like, people know that, oh, it's releasing formaldehyde. That's bad enough, but they, I, I don't even know what this whole smog is. Because now, I, I reached the point where I was doing it so wrong, like I had all my windows closed at the bottom, heating the house, 
I'm sucking in air from the walls. Didn't realize this. And I, this has all just made sense to me in the last few days. So I'm trying to pass on this piece of learning. And I was smelling it. Like, and it's just this, it's this low level smell. Some people describe it as a sweet smell out there. You talk about this smell. Not many people have got their head around this thing. Acrid is a word you might use. It, to me, it's just a chemically smell, but you kind of have to be really tuned to it to even notice it. I was waking up with, you know, sometimes even like a pain in my chest. Like, oh, you know, something's not right. I feel like I've dealt with it now, but for a long time it wasn't dealt with. And there's this pump effect. The more that you're heating, especially if you have something like a stove that has its own chimney, you need directly pumping heat out, air out, pumping air out. And which means you're pulling air in at the bottom. And if you have no windows open, it's literally sucking it in through the walls. And it's just sucking in this horrible air through this fiberglass insulation, which has these other chemicals in it, which they say releases formaldehyde. But you can actually see it. If you get the sun right, like you get a crack in your window, like if you just close your curtains a little bit, so you've got like a crack of light, you get that like ray of light. In clean air, you shouldn't see the light, right? I don't know if everyone gets this, but you should, you know, you should only see the spot on the wall. You shouldn't see, you should see dust. Yeah, dust is fine. But this isn't just dust. You're seeing like a, like a gray, like a smoke. So, you know, there, anyway, that's the whole point. Hopefully some people can learn from this because it's, it's just another thing that we just gradually learn. Like people learn, oh, we need good food. We need organic food. Oh, we need, you know, a water filter. Oh, you know, and it's like, air is huge and I, I run these air filters as well but they're not enough they're not enough I, I run several good air filters and they're not enough if you're doing it wrong if you're just sucking air in from your walls it comes in through the through the you know outlets the electrical outlets and and, and places like this like they, there's like a they're mostly airtight right your walls but they let in enough and it's a big big area it's a much bigger area than your windows. You've got your, your windows, they're closed, they're, they're, re they're, they're reasonably airtight. People think like, oh yeah, you're getting air through your like doors and window cracks and stuff. Eh, yeah, partly, but also your walls. And there's a bunch of nasty chemicals in the walls. If, I mean, our house was built in the 60s, and it's going to depend when your house was built. And I don't know when they stopped using this terrible stuff. If they even, I'm not even sure they have. But it's something I'm going to look at hugely with, with my next house. This is terrible. Like, this is something I think once you've seen this smoke in your house. Like, because you, you need that really powerful sunlight to, to see it. But then it really brings it home to you. This is not just a smell. This is a smog in your house. And I've now dealt with it. And, I, and like, you know, I've got a window open in the right place, which is at the bottom of the house. Am I losing a bit of heat? Sure, but I've got good air. And uh, I feel like I can breathe deeply and, and I feel good about that. And, and I hope this uh, brings some, some help to some others out there.